Now let's come to the topic one that is nature and uh, principles of trade unions. Uh, we are going to look at about what is why this trade union is existing. As we already discussed, uh, you know, the trade union, the basic idea of trade unionism is, uh, you know, the employee will demand their requirement, uh, you know, through the collective kind of a bargaining by showing their strength. So that's the reason actually, you know, they join a trade union and uh, through the trade union, they try to, you know, probably address their requirement or a demand directly to an employers. And, uh, you know, let's look at uh, what is the objective or meaning of a trade union. The exact meaning of a trade union is the trade union is an organization of workers that is formed with a view of protecting and promoting the interest of the workers because many organizations may not provide the right kind of you know working conditions or they may not provide right kind of a salary or they may not provide the kind of a benefits whatever supposed to, you know the workers supposed to get so in order to you know probably protect the workers people form a union and through that they will do it there are different ways of actually you know looking at trade union so actually if you look into it trade union is this trade union is an association of employees designed primarily to maintain or improve the condition of an employment of its members so that's uh, that's what lester uh, you know tried to come out of the meaning of trade union and another person called bioritic web uh, he says that a trade trade union is a continuous association of wage earners for the purpose of maintaining or improving the conditions of their workforce so that's what the other meaning of trade union now let's try to look at the nature of a trade union Trade unions, you know, most of the time it is a voluntary kind of an organization consists of all the workers in that particular uh, organization or a group of organization. Basically, they form to promote and protect their interest through a collective kind of an action. So basically, you know, they join together to protect their interest in terms of getting a right kind of a salary, working conditions and so many other things. And uh, that's the way actually, you know, they try to work out through a collective action. So, you know, by looking at it, actually government has come out with a separate act itself that's called it as your Trade Union Act 1926. Uh, uh, it's a combination whether, uh, you know, it could be a temporary or a permanent kind of, you know, way you can form the trade union. So there could be a temporary trade union also you can form. You can form a permanent kind of a trade union also. Temporary trade unions can be formed when there is an, you know, conflict arises. And the permanent tra trade union can be formed basically to, you know, keep and going so that, you know, it can does a lot of other social functions. So now if you look at it, actually, you know, the basic purpose of a trade union, uh, you know, the primary purpose is to regulate the relationship between worker and an employers or between a workman and a workman. Sometimes, you know, it so happens like a conflict can arise uh, between an employer and a workman or between the, you know, colleagues themselves that could be an, you know, conflict can arise because he happened to be the boss and, uh, you know, boss is trying to take some kind of a decision making. It might affect the worker. So that's a way actually, you know, when it comes to disciplinary actions, uh, sometimes it could be a biased kind of a disciplinary actions. So that time, you know, again, this... Uh, trade unionism will come in handy with that and other than that you know it could be between an employer and an employer uh, in the sense like you know there could be let's say between supplier and the uh, uh, buyer or it could be between the distributor and the manufacturer or it could be within the same organization there could be you know uh, different uh, what you call it is the uh, organization which is located each other so between the employer and employer there could be a problem uh, there could be a conflict for that and again a trade union can help you out other than that for imposing a restrictive conditions on the conduct of any trade or a business or you know it, it includes uh, any kind of federation or two or more trade unions can join together and come out with this so you know april 30th you know the uh, all the transporters associations like your auto rickshaw and uh, you know call taxis and your uh, private and public uh, uh, associations and then lorry associations they join together they formed a trade union basically to you know fight against the motor bill which has been passed in the government or par parliament so that's a way actually you know you can come out of the nature of a trade union which is more issue oriented or a particular you know outcome oriented so that's a way also we can look at it 
and uh, just to continue on the nature of a trade union the analysis reveals that trade union is a combination of workers or employers so there should be you no know, more number of people should be there it can be a voluntary kind of an organization and such a combination could be permanent or a temporary as we already discussed permanent is you know permanently you try to you know uh, conduct a you know regular kind of an activity uh, which is basically you know for developing the as, as for the betterment and development of the employees and the members and other way actually you know temporarily you can form a trade union basically this temporary trade union might be more of an issue based on a conflict based and uh, it could be you know include federation of two or more unions also joined together like AACTU or probably you know CITU likewise you know the, it's a combination of two or more different kind of an you know trade union join together and they form an umbrella kind of an you know uh, association or a trade union is also possible and other than that you know ultimately the major analysis reveals the trade union is to you know regulate the relationship among workmen so even the workman has to you know follow the regulations and uh, you know they need to maintain a best relationship between workman and an employer or among employers themselves so these are the kind of you know basic purpose uh, in which they come out of the trade union now let's try to look at the principles of trade unionism why the trade unionism they are forming the basic trade unionism function on the basis of three fundamental principles uh, the basic idea of you know the principle is actually you know unity is strength that means when all employees join together or you know all people join together whether it is an employer or an employee only then they can actually you know demand uh, their uh, you know requirement or a need very very you know uh, what you call it a strong way so that's a basic idea second one is actually you know paying an equal pay equal kind of you know work or for the same job so that's the way actually you know what happens is like uh, sometimes employer might discriminate the employees based on uh, the kind of you know partial relationship so that can be avoided and the third one is basically for a social security and to maintain you know security part of it uh, you know they go about uh, the trade unionism it's about job security as well as social security part of it and uh, let's look at why uh, you know employees join the union uh, the basic idea about why employees join it's basically you know uh, in olden days actually you know uh, there were a lot of management companies were uh, actually exploiting the workers and based on the bargaining power or based on the kind of you know voice by the employee and the influence power they used to, you know probably uh, what you call it as uh, having a different kind of a treatment for the employees so ultimately they their management used to exploit the employees uh, by threatening their job security the second one is uh, to avoid that hire and fire policy some many companies are there who will simply hire when there is a project and when there is a project is not there they used to fire the employees left and right so in order to prevent that you know playing with the lives of the people so this you know trade unionism has been formed and other kind of a thing is like you know uh, working conditions olden days you know the uh, factory and all does not maintain a very good kind of working conditions so in order to maintain a human uh, kind of a working conditions you know the trade union is a mac is a kind of an you know uh, interface and other than that low wage payment was a common kind of a practices you know avoided to avoid that you know this particular thing came into picture and sometime you know long hours of work and exploiting uh, the employees so to avoid that you know the employee you know employees join the trade union so that uh, you know the management uh, takes a right kind of a decision